So I actually slightly dis disagree with the title. Um, I would actually say it's an internet for trust uh, on a trustless internet. And I've been saying that since 2015 at the Asia Pacific uh, Regional Internet Governance Forum on July 1st in Macau. Uh, the reason why I articulated uh, or the slight change in terms of not an internet of trust is because what we have right now is an internet of threats and it's going to get worse because of the internet of things. So this again goes back to what's um, important about this year's IGF is that it's recognizing that the internet actually now may be at a, at a, at a crunch time. Why? Because connecting to the internet previously, the gains or the wins of connecting to a global network outweighed the deficits. But with the presence of cybercrime and with an internet that may be uh, unstable, people are beginning to question what the calculus is. In other words, if it costs you access to your servers and all your private data, et cetera, then it's not actually going to be worthwhile in, in terms of risk analysis, the pro and the con, to actually connect to the net. So the topic is very timely, but I think we have to recognize that we actually do have now a trustless IPv4 network. And my own view is that this internet experiment for the last 20 odd years, I mean, I've been in the space since 1993, is the experiment's over. And I think what we've learned is that security matters. We have a new set of assumptions. The good news is that we have the IPv6 network, which is a much larger network in terms of address space for the Internet of Things. But we can, again, design with that with privacy in mind and with security in mind. So the last experiment we've had for the last 20 odd years, I'm saying is over. And I think we have the opportunity, now that we know what the reality is of connecting global network, that we can build a different one with IPv6.